and we have content warnings of religious slurs, ableism, classism, and there is audience interaction, no participation, so don't reference too much. <laughs> Without further ado, would everyone arise for Her Majesty, Queen of England? <laughs> Forgive 
me, I have just come from the royal stables. Ah, that explains the smile. I thought you'd merely come from seeing that brother of yours. <laughs> Really blessed with the second coming of Christ. And here I was convinced I'd seen an apparition of St. Peter himself. Why, I? <laughs> no, I am the Cardinal. <laughs> Have I done something wrong? Well, no, not wrong with her say, Alice, but just a tad concerned about the direction with which you've chosen to take the character of the past couple of lines. <laughs> I've only had two lines. Exactly. <laughs> what do you suggest they do differently? How do I even put this into words, Finish? Mm, it is a tricky one. Could you try? Well, it's almost as if you've got no idea who the Cardinal, the man that you're playing, is like in real life. Or even who he is. No, I have no idea who he is. And you say you're from London. <laughs> this London. I thought so. Right. Well, this really won't do. Okay. Venetia here will break down the character for you. Apologies, everyone. <laughs> now, Alice. The Cardinal is an immensely powerful figure in Europe, and one you really ought to know. A very famous one, actually. A very, a very yes. famous one. Yes. She, she gets the point. <laughs> so can you hazard a guess at what the man does for a living? Oh, so you do know him! this entire time! Very droll, Alice. He feels as an ounce of that druid into the performance itself. We feel like two of the show by now. I still have no idea who he is. I just thought, you know, he might be a cardinal. How very deceptive of you. She's a scholar, you know. Perhaps the sociology of yours isn't so fraught after all. susceptible to corruption. Do you follow? The Cardinal's corrupt. Mm. Very good. <laughs> so, can you see where your performance thus far has gone askew? So the Cardinal is this holy man you were telling us about at the start, with the ministerial job and the illegitimate son? Spot on. <laughs> ah, so the seed of the holy man. That's a sort of innuendo. Use some subtleties for the audience. <laughs> <laughs> the line you see, Alice, no, I am the Cardinal, is to be delivered with more boisterous clarity by one who claims his identity, who garners his self-worth by this title that has been bestowed upon him. He is one who challenges the very idea that he be seen as anything other than this great title, for all that he is worth. No, I am the Cardinal! You see? Bravo! Bravo! <laughs> now, Alice, your turn. No, I am the Cardinal! That'll have to go on! <laughs> Splendid, let us continue, for fear we might soon start to lose the audience from the essence of the plot. Right. From your line, Alice. No. <laughs> no, I am the Cardinal. Your Grace, how goes your chance today? Splendid, thank you, sir. Likewise. Ah, pray tell your Lordship. How is the tending to the Royal Palace Gardens? Yes, I'm obliged to inform you both that a most important specimen to Her Majesty has been uprooted! Oh yes, I believe I read about that. It's not your line, so stop. Thank you. <laughs> yes, the rare Warrington bushel was disposed of only last night! Oh yes, I believe I read about that. <laughs> what have I done wrong this time? Well. It's just that line usually gets lots of laughs, you see. Oh, it does? Yes. And when you did it, well, it didn't get any. <laughs> <laughs> that line's a sort of joke, is it? Oh, bless her. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I understand. Right, Venetia, care to explain? So a joke is a form of comedy. It aims to bring about humour through misunderstandings, accidents and errors. Do you need an example? I think that just was one. Yes. Very good. The line you just delivered was a joke. So what's the joke in the line then? Well, of course you know about the Cardinal's widely rumoured illiteracy. No. <laughs> so the line you just delivered, yes, I believe I read about that somewhere. 
is a subtle reference to the Cardinal's widely rumoured illiteracy. Uh -huh. <laughs> But 
what if others vying for the position, Lord Viscount? The decision hath been made! And on what basis is this? <laughs> on the basis that I am the carnival! The fact that my these are not best made by those in cause, but by those who drink a lot, but have a false charge, produce lots of children. How long has this gone for? <laughs> Quite long enough. If you wouldn't remind, please remain seated until the end of the performance. It's awfully rude to interrupt midway through a performance, you know. Then perhaps we'd better make this the end of the performance. I think I've seen enough. Just because you don't understand subtle nuances of the dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even that subtle. I didn't think you were a carnival sympathizer, Alice! So you are a fan after all. Double agent. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the rest of the audience didn't seem very amused by your jokes either. Yes. They don't look like our usual crowd. <laughs> Can you please get back to the first act? <laughs> it might be wise skipping to the start of the second, Venetia. Good thinking, Guinevere. So you can spread more of this duplicitous slander, when all of this is merely in tale about an honest servant of the church. Working <laughs> out a noble young man who, yes, some say I bear a passing resemblance to. Gain entry into the royal court. <laughs> Your son. All right, who said that? Please carry on with the performance. <laughs> I think I've seen enough. Don't you think the audience might be interested to see how it ends? I have no interest in hearing what devious spin you put on this innocent little saga. Now, for punishment, I am going to suggest that the three of you have your ears cropped. That'll teach you to spread such lies. <laughs> Shouldn't you cut off our tongues instead? <laughs> Aren't you a clever one? She's a scholar, you know. It's <laughs> a <scholar. laughs> uh, <laughs> A novel. <laughs> You'll be sure to mention that when you're facing the high papal court, the charges of heresy against the Catholic Church. What? Impersonating and besmirching the ecclesiastic authority of my distinction is no laughing matter, Oh, just Alice. <laughs> As for you two, who are you portraying in this little farce? The Lord Viscount, tender to the Royal Gardens. I see. <laughs> and you? An esteemed member of the Royal Court, the Earl of Salisbury. <laughs> and I suppose he's the one who's put you up to all this, isn't he? That wretched Earl. Excuse me. I am the wretched Earl of whom you speak. <laughs> and as a matter of fact, I do happen to be the official sponsor of this production. So. <laughs> what? Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished fellows, I am thrilled to introduce to you all the official sponsor of tonight's entertainment, <laughs> the Earl of Salisbury. <laughs> One more. Uh, there were quite a lot of us out there, I think it was, it was actually up. <laughs> what did you hope would be achieved by this little fun? Oh, just a bit of fun, you know, some... What was that word you used earlier? Commodi. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's a strand of theatre that takes me back to you, you misunderstand. Yes. <laughs> yes. I don't need an example. <laughs> This production simply aims to tell a light-hearted story based loosely on the recent events between yourself and the Earl. His Lordship simply heard about the events and thought that it would be generous to donate some of his considerable wealth. That's right. Considerable wealth. <laughs> <laughs> Would I say that the performance be allowed to continue from where it left off? It might be advisable to skip straight to act two. <laughs> no, no, I think we've seen enough. The audience might be interested to see how it ends. <laughs> Possibly. And this has nothing to do with your uh you. Friend. No. No, that's Walter. No, that's Walter the Bridge. Vying for the position. 
<laughs> friend. Son. Friend. <laughs> friend. <laughs> no, not at all, Your Grace. That is water under the bridge. Right, if you could be allowed to continue, we do have an audience waiting, you know. Oh, yes, that's oh, right. Right, <clears throat> just to let you all know, at the astute suggestion of my colleague, Venetia, we shall be resuming, not from where we left off, but from the beginning of Act Two. Just to make up for certain delays, don't worry if you haven't seen the production before. <laughs> you should be well up to speed by now. Who's this here? Ah, oh, yes. The Lord Viscount is dead. Phoenicia will now be portraying the Chief Minister. <laughs> Whenever you're ready, Alice. Oh, yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> Some sort of poached form. <laughs> Would you like one? <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> oh, all right, I said just take one, not three. <laughs> I said, will you? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm totally sorry. Uh, Catholics, you know. <laughs> <laughs> turn as the real cardinal storms into the theatre. Cardinal, parentheses, outraged, what is going on here? <laughs> Stop at the front of the stage. Guinevere, colon. Ah, your grace, what is all this? This is not the script that, that I commissioned. Yes. It's the script that I commissioned. <laughs> oh. Thank you, well, you see, after our little tiff in college a few months ago, I sought out a production to sponsor a play. Oh, well, well, yes, as did I. Only my play was to be about a play which was sponsored by you. <laughs> <laughs> Only my play was going to be about a play which was sponsored by you. The Earl looks up perplexed. <laughs> 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 the, the, the Earl, only my play was going to be about a play which was sponsored by you. The Earl looks up perplexed. <laughs> yes, I think that's the Earl. Cool. That's right. I'm just spoiling it for the audience. So, you commissioned a play about a play which I commissioned. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> In which I was unknowingly a character. Yes. And, and, and you two were in on this the whole time. 
Well, we're actors. <laughs> <laughs> How could you deceive me like this? Well, we're actors. <laughs> <laughs> but what was all this supposed to achieve? You see, uh, when my uh, young friend, Son. patron, <laughs> gained that position from you in court thanks to my support. Threats! Yes! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> After all of that, a lot of Protestant sympathizers rushed to your side. They believed me to be the tyrant and you the long-suffering hero. So I thought, <laughs> what a better way to paint you as the petty, vindictive, narcissist that you are, then have you appear to be sponsoring a production with the aim of besmirching my good name. Suddenly you're no longer the honourable gentleman you appear to be, as I come rushing in to defend myself <laughs> and you force me to sit through my own humiliation. But how did you know that I would make you sit and watch? Well, and, and then how did you know that I'd say all this? You can be quite predictable. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it says in the script. <laughs> uh, 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 right, yes, but what about the next performance? Hmm? No, I'll know differently then, won't I? That's right to know the end, right? <laughs> <laughs> what? So, 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 all this, just some attempt to out me as some petty loser. Yes, and have you rejected the royal court for good measure? You had one of my actresses play a satirical version of yourself. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> well, that I did have a couple of notes. <laughs> See this line here? This is supposed to be a joke. <laughs> you see? It's upside down. Ah. <laughs> yes. Uh, must have forgotten my reading glass. <laughs> We've been here about Alice's performance. Extensively. But not sufficiently. <laughs> well, perhaps another rehearsal tomorrow then, if my nose is still on the bill. So, how does this wretched thing end then? What else am I in for? No skipping ahead! Um, <laughs> All for one performance in this dingy little theatre. <laughs> Down, Cheska! <laughs> <laughs> Along with several other stops across the Westminster area. <laughs> but don't you see, this is all ludicrous. Well, how on earth is one performance where you frame me for framing you as a dastardly villain supposed to change the entire landscape of English political discourse? Uh, especially now, everyone knows everything anyway. I suppose you're right. In fact, all it would really do is make us out to look like royal fools. <laughs> Come on, everybody, everybody, wake up! It's the Queen, for goodness sake! <laughs>
matter of who's behind this little farce in the first place. Ah, yes, that's right, that was him. Isn't that right, Blades? Don't say the word. <laughs> what? what? What was that? What was what? <laughs> it's me. What? Oh, God, don't you see? Yes, I'm afraid that I was the real spot. <laughs> You can't even read. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> uh, ah, the carton. Ah, oh, I suppose you're right. <laughs> In fact, all it would really do is make us out to look like royal. A long pause. <laughs> Before the cardinal can continue, royal music rings out. The queen enters from the front of the stage. So this isn't my play. The cardinal snatches the script off the arm. Before pausing to look up, brow furrowed, yes? <laughs> How did you know that I would unwittingly play along? You can be quite predictable and one-dimensional. <laughs> <laughs> and how could you all betray me like this? Venetia. Point a bit. Alan. <laughs> They're just actors. Get over it. <laughs> it might be best to explain to the Cardinal what's going on. Yes, yes, so we can get on with the second act. There is no second act. What? You see, ever since your illegitimate son... And? Apprentice. Apprentice. Son <laughs> was granted a ministerial position in my court. Things have turned rather sour. The Earl here, for all his relentless whining, has caused quite the stir. I have, have I? <laughs> <laughs> I've always had a little more patience for the teachings of the Catholic Church than my predecessors, despite the opposing views of the nation. But this issue with the Cardinal, which began as mere court shenanigans, has quickly threatened to turn into a far larger, religiously charged conflict. By sponsoring a play in which the two of you both appear to be sponsoring plays, in which you attempt to humiliate the other with your respective sponsorings, I aim to have this serious issue downplayed as mere court shenanigans between two entitled ministers, thereby avoiding a major religious conflict regarding my Catholic leanings. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so you mean to say you sponsored a production in which I sponsored a production <laughs> in which the Earl sponsored a production? All to make us look like petty stooges with nothing better to do on a Monday night than sit around and argue over insignificant court matters. Yes, that's right. <laughs> How do you think we feel? We should all pay to be here. Barely? Betcha! If you want to discuss the dimming up of salaries, we can do that after the play! <laughs> what play? Now, well. Uh, I think you'd better calm down. Oh, but, but don't you see, this is all meaningless. We're all stood here with our own agendas, only to find out none of it meant anything. Well, so what if we were used a little? <laughs> <laughs> a little? Gentlemen, I think you ought to calm down. Oh, I'm sorry. Venetia, hold I'm my sherry. I'm just going to go and stand here and the back. sociology student at the University of York. This has all been part of my second year thesis into the dangers and pitfalls of a gender-driven media. <laughs> something to think about. This has been a night with Gwyneth and Venetia, a play sponsored by the Earl of Salisbury, colon, a play in fact conducted 
find Cardinal Fortunoa. <laughs> <laughs>